Hello everyone, welcome to another video in this series about implementing domain driven design within our Flutter applications. In this video we will be focusing on implementing our data source and we will be using the SQF Lite package as our database technology. If it is your first time here, please consider subscribing and grow your development skills by learning modern software development techniques and also consider checking out the other videos in this series. So let's begin. So here I am in Visual Studio Code and uh, before we get into coding I like to highlight two packages that are important for this tutorial. The SQF Lite package which we'll be using as our database technology and also the path library, path package that we'll be using to help in assist to create our database. So let us know, go into our test folder and in, into our infrastructure we'll create a folder for data source and so here we'll create a folder for our data source so data sources and in that folder we'll write our test for SQL flight or SQF light data source so SQF light data source test dart now let us set up our test and for our system under test we'll create a class SQF light data source that's our system on the test and also for its dependency we'll use we'll inject the SQF light database so we'll create a mock of that database using Mockito so we'll say mock SQF light database and inside our setup method we'll instantiate the database and we'll inject it in our data source so SUT would be an instance of SQL flight SQF light data source and for our DB We'll inject the mock database. So I'll create that mock database using Mockito. So I'll say mock, which is a class extends mock from the Makito library and implements database from the SQF Lite library. So 
So there we have our mock of the database and we have also our SQL light data source which is red now. So we'll go into our production code and there in our infrastructure where we have data sources and I data source. I'm going to refactor these methods first. So instead of add, I'm going to call it add book and find all books and find book. So I'll refactor these. So you can use, you can highlight the method and use F2 to refactor it so that it will replace all occurrences of this method within the entire application. So I'm going to change the name to add book. Hit enter. Going to refactor this to find all books. And this one to find book. Okay. And so there we have it. We'll just save these. So now we have our data source. Now we're going to implement our data source. So we're going to say SQF light data source. SQF light data source. implements or I data source I'm gonna import the methods so now we have the methods imported so for our database final DB which is database from SQL flight DB and then I'll inject that into the constructor. So now that we have our SQL flight data source, we're going to import it in our test. And so for our first test, which is the, the I'll be testing the add book method, which is the Data source add book SQF light and for our first test since we are using the mock database I want to ensure that the insert method was called so whenever the add book method of the data source is called then it should perform a database insert. So it should perform a database insert. And so I'll, in my arrange section, I'll create a book model.
Umaru and then I'll say that when whenever the database, the mark database, whenever the insert method is called into the table books with the value being the book model to map then I want to answer with true to, to say that the record was, was successfully inserted into the database. So whenever the database insert is called from the mock database, then I want to return true. And so I'll say SUT add book and I'll pass in the book model. And here because it's an async method I'll await. And then for assert section I'll verify that the insert method was called with the same parameters so books for the table book model the map and also I want that if there's a conflict then SQF Lite has a field conflict algorithm that you can set so I'll replace it if by some chance that record existed in the database I'll just repeat, replace it so this and this method, insert method, should be called once. Should be called once. So I need to have the conflict algorithm here also. Replace. So for book model, I'll create a map quickly. And then I'll say from from map. I'll pass in the map so the book model will be created from this data. So now if I run this test, then it should fail. So there I have a failing test since the method is not yet implemented. So now in our SQL or SQF Lite data source, I'll implement the add book method. So I'll say await the DB, the insert method, and I'll insert into the books table. And I'll insert the values from the model.
and I'll set the conflict algorithm to replace. So if I go back to the test now and run it, I am expecting the test to pass. So there we have a passing test suggesting that our record is now inserted into the database using the insert, insert method from the, the SQF Lite database class. So now we look at the other methods. We look at the find book method. And I'll just copy and paste this test quickly. Change this to find. Find the book and now the test is that it should perform the database query and return a matching record. So should perform a database query. And return a matching record. So now for setup we'll have whenever database dot query is called and we are querying the books table. We're gonna add a where clause. So I'm gonna use any named where and also the where args or the arguments for that where clause again any named where args so then I am going to return Whenever this call is made, I am going to answer with a map, the same map result. So whenever the database is queried with a part with with the where clause and some arguments for the where clause, then I'm just gonna return this map because the SQF light database, whenever records it, it return a list of maps for records whenever any any record is found. And I'm going to say here that I want the book model must be equal to find book and the book ID. Just gonna pass identity. from string so this book model is not needed there and so for our test for assertion rather I expect that 
the book model I expect that it is not null and I also expect that the ID also expect that the book model ID is going to string representation is equal to AAA which is the the ID that I used So now if I run this test, again it should fail because, because we haven't yet implemented the method. So there we have a failing test. So now we'll implement the find book method. So we'll say list of maps since that is what is returned from the query database dot query and I'm going to query the books table and for our where clause where I'm going to say we're book ID, that's the column, equal or question mark operator where that, that is where the, the arguments from the, the where args will be, will replace that question mark sign with the arguments. And so far, where arguments, where args, I am going to get from the book ID, I'm going to get the string representation of that ID. So there we have our our query and now I'm going to return book model and I'm going to pass in from the list of maps I'm gonna get the first row since it's it should return a single row so now let us run the test again so there we have the test passing so we have implemented our find book method by querying the books database where the book ID is equal to the ID that we pass in. So now let us look on the find all books method, which is pretty similar. The only difference is now it will be returning a list of books rather than just one book. So let us quickly copy and paste the test. So here we have the test that it should perform the database query and return all records. So for our arrange section, we say that when, whenever the query method is called on the books table, then we should return a list of map. For this map, I'm just gonna copy and paste this map. I'm gonna put it at the root here so that is accessible in all the, the 
the discs. So again, run, it should fail because we haven't yet implemented the function. There we have it failing. So now we go here and we'll implement the function quickly. So here is our implementation where we query the books table and then we check if it is empty. If no records were found, we return an empty list. Otherwise, we create a list of book model by running the map method. This map operation and we'll for the, the function we'll say every time there's a map from the list as we're looping through that list of map we'll create a book model from that map. We'll convert it to a list and return it. So that's basically how we'll implement that method where we get all the books. So we have basically implemented the three methods associated with the book data source or associated with querying our database for books. We need to also create methods for our bookshelf, but we'll not be doing that in this tutorial. Um, in another tutorial, we'll be doing that, but I would encourage you guys, based on what you have learned so far, to try and implement one, the bookshelf repository, and also to add methods to this data source interface methods that would query the shelf table to get back the particular shelf ID, that sort of thing. But we'll look at that in the next video. So thank you once again, guys, for watching this video. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and turn on post notifications so that Together we might grow our development skills as we implement modern software development technologies or techniques. The code, is, the code can also be found on GitHub, so you can check it out there. So thank you once again, guys.